All right, guys, here we are, checking in to the Park MGM, and... Hmm. There's no way to check in. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Hey guys, Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. So, I ran into a very interesting circumstance last time I went to Park MGM. So, as you guys know, we went the weekend of St. Patrick's Day, so there was a little bit of a crisis going on. I don't know, some sort of cold or something like that really had the whole city a little shook. It happens every once in a while. But, something really unusual happened while I was there. So I booked Park MGM per usual with my My Vegas rewards, and I'll show you how to do that in the description box below. But before we get into that, one thing to note about Park MGM is usually they have self check in machines. Now, in this instance, we didn't have them, they were all shut down, presumably for social distancing. So that meant that there was only one more thing to do it was time to actually attempt the $20 technique at the desk for the first time in recorded history at Park MGM. All right, Spanish and Sharks, Ace of Vegas. I'm gonna go ahead and attempt the $20 technique here at uh, Park MGM. So here were the ultimate results of the trick. Initially, I was booked for a king room. However, they were a little short on king rooms, so what they decided to go ahead and do for me is number one, they got me a queen room on a slightly higher floor. I think I was originally booked on the 15th floor, ended up on the 26th floor, so that worked out really well. And in addition to that, I didn't get charged any resort fees, which I thought was amazing. I was feeling over the moon on that. And then they also kicked me another $30 credit just for it being my birthday after I tipped the $20. So it worked out really nicely. When you also factor in the fact that I got the free play from Park MGM, Luxor, Excalibur, and of course my My Konami free play, I think I really kind of profited in this instance. But enough about that, let's get upstairs and check out the room. Alright, Spinners and Sharks, Ace is back. So... Went up to the check-in counter and all that. Uh, Park MGM's been so quiet lately that they actually just gave me an upgrade straight up without me even needing a tip. I, I did it at the end anyway, just because uh, like, that was the first thing the nice lady did. She was just like, you know what? We got an upgrade. You're going to the uh, 25th floor over here. We're going to get you a strip view and uh, do a little bit of a, I guess a little bit of a bigger room. I had a king room built. I had a king room uh, booked and they gave me a queen room instead. And uh, I guess, yeah, I'm just gonna have a little more stuff. So let's go ahead and uh, do a little walkabout, check it out. All right, guys, you're gonna have to forgive me on this one. I totally forgot to record this last night. So I woke up a little earlier this morning so I could do the uh, casino walk and I'm gonna go ahead and do the room tour right now. So. Again, so sorry, uh, I forgot to do it last night with all the news updates I completely forgot to record. So, let's go ahead and go check this out. And we are at 214, which is going to be on the right-hand side over here. Yep, here it is. Room 214, really dark on this side over here. But let's go ahead and go on in and see what it's like. All right, and welcome to Park MGM. All right, and as you guys know, I like to start the room tours with the bathroom. So let's go ahead and pop in here, get a little bit of light going, watch your eyes. There we go, all right. So the bathroom I don't think is anything to write home about. Now obviously you have your mirror and you have the usual stuff here so you get your uh, tissue dispenser and then the sink isn't too bad. It's a little shallow, so it, uh, I don't enjoy washing my hands in shallow sinks, but I do each his own. Obviously fully equipped with antibacterial soap, and then you have your trash can here, so that's really nice. Uh, you come back around, uh, and you have a full towel rack over here with the uh, hair dryer as a bonus, so that's always really nice. Uh, when you come back, you got the shower, um, you know, body wash, and all that good type of stuff if you pop on in. You see that it is appropriate Ace of Vegas size, since I have to tilt up if I want to see <laughs> if I want to see the actual um, shower head. So that's what that looks like. And then the water closet over here is really just kind of a toilet. There, there's no no door as you can see, nothing to close. But they have an extra 
roll of toilet paper there in case you need it. So that's the bathroom as a whole. When we turn around and have a look at the main room, we're going over this way. There is a sliding barn door, which is very a very uh, popular style right now. So that rolls over, and then you get to see the closet. So from top to bottom, you got the iron. I can put my hat down over there. The very back, you get your room safe. Uh, we didn't talk about that much at Win, but you do get your room safe here. And obviously looking up and down they have this uh, set of drawers here and all that so if you want to put any clothes in there's also a luggage rack if you so choose and of course the ironing board is behind my jacket over here so that is the up and down view of the entire closet but I usually keep that closed next when we come on in you have a couple coat hooks here so you can uh, Put your coat right up here. Feels pretty sturdy. I haven't done it yet. And then you come into the actual room. A lot of art on the walls and a lot of little lamps and all that. One thing that you'll notice is there aren't a lot of light switches in here. So you actually have to go up to each individual light and interact with it. Two queen beds. Again, a lot of artwork on top of the wall over here. And then you have television, obviously. You have your mini bar tray here. I haven't found a mini fridge yet, so I don't think they have a mini fridge in here. You probably have to request one. Um, if you are diabetic, though, keep in mind they do have to provide one for you uh, at no additional charge. Or if you need um, special medications uh, refrigerated, they do have to provide one for you at no additional charge. So, you know, again, feel free to. Don't forget to ask. Got the remote over here, mounted television. So that's an option, too. Nice little sitting area. And you get the, uh, the old penny hoarder for Park MGM and all that. La La Noodle carry out, although they're closed right now. And then here's a nice little sit down area too, so you can sit down on the couch. And if you want to be weird, you can look at your friend's bed, or you can actually watch the TV, one of the two. Uh, the beds themselves, they're not too bad. I think they uh, they have a nice little spring to them. Not as comfortable as Wynn's bed or anything like that. Although I do think it's more comfortable than Aria's beds. So if that's any difference. And also let's go ahead and take a look at the strip view. Right, let's go ahead and um, try and figure out how this uh, drops. So the drawstring goes the other way. So you pull the first string and you pull it down. And that's what raises the blackout curtain. And we're going to keep pulling the blackout curtain up. Alright guys, and here's our look at the Vegas Strip, so it was nice having a higher view, um, but, oof, all you're saying is my, my phone and my Pokemon shirt, but yeah, there's the view of the Strip, so you can see uh, Signature at MGM Grand too, you can also see MGM Grand on the other side, it looks really, really far away when you do that, Polo Towers, which is a drastically underrated hotel, and I always forget about, forget about that one when I'm here, uh, you also get a good view of MGM Grand once again, and New York, New York, and you can see what's going on there. Here's the really bizarre part, just the, watching the strip and watching the lack of gridlock on the strip is just so bizarre to me. I've never experienced uh, a quieter Vegas strip, but that's about it. So guys, this was the Park MGM room tour. I hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed this video and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Hopefully by next trip, everything's going to be a bit calmer, and then I'll have some more traditional and organized videos to show you guys, so that'll be nice. Not sure what I'm going to do for the next few months, since I won't be able to come out here quite as often, but we'll work it out. So, until next time, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you all strong hands, and of course, happy spending, you guys. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva